there's a history behind American views on Islam and it runs pretty deep, so let's talk about it. Join me for some secret reasons America is obsessed with Islam. Number 10, Nation of Islam. In the 1930s, Wallace Fard established the Nation of Islam. Fard declared that Christianity was the religion of the white man. During their time as forced laborers, African Americans were forced to do it. Islam was more in line with African identity and origins. The Nation of Islam's adherents study the Quran, revere Allah as their Lord, and acknowledge Muhammad as their foremost prophet. Black pride and black nationalism were infused with Islamic doctrine. Fard's adherents were dubbed black Muslims. Following Fard's inexplicable disappearance, Elijah Muhammad assumed leadership of the movement. Many people became disciples of the Nation of Islam, particularly in jails where the majority of lost African Americans sought solace. Number 9. More Muslims in the Media Recently, there have been more and more Muslim TV personalities appearing on TV. You can now watch several comedic series. Most recently, comedians and performers Mo Amar and Rami Youssef co-created a comedy series that Netflix greenlit. Based on his personal experience growing up as a Muslim refugee in Houston, Amar plays a Palestinian refugee trapped in a protracted immigration process in the show. The well-known actor and creator of Hulu's critically acclaimed sitcom Rami, which ran from 2019 until now, which is based on Yusuf's experiences as an Egyptian Muslim child growing up in New Jersey, is his co-creator Rami Yusuf. Rami's positive critical reception sparked a comeback of Muslim lead characters in television comedy. And I've seen the show Mo, and it is great. Comedic gold. I would recommend it highly. Number 8. More Conversions The New York Times estimates that 25% of Muslims in the United States are converts. Approximately 6,000 British citizens convert to Islam each year with women making up the majority of these new converts, according to a June 2000 British Muslims Monthly Survey report. The Huffington Post states that observers estimate that as many as 20,000 Americans convert to Islam annually, though exact numbers are difficult to tally. Number 7. Curiosity Behind the Hijab Hopefully some stuff can be cleared up about the hijab right now. Let me give you a rundown on what the hijab is if you didn't know already. When a Muslim girl reaches puberty, she begins to cover. Since Allah, God refers to women in the Quran rather than girls, it is inferred that a girl should wear a hijab at the point at which she transitions from a girl to a lady. These days, women are frequently used as props or vehicles for propaganda, and their bodies and attractiveness are used to advertise products on billboards. The purpose of the hijab, which is a veil or barrier, is to shield Muslim women from the prying eyes and lust of the outside world. The only people who are allowed to see a woman without their veil are her husband, family and other women in moderation, and the father, brother, uncles, father-in-law, and any other man she is blood related to aside from male cousins are all considered members of her approved family who can see her without the hijab. Number 6. Curiosity Behind Fasting While it is often understood that Muslims fast from food and liquids, they also refrain from all forms of intimate activity and impolite conduct throughout their fast. Giving up food and drink is supposed to uplift the spirit because they are symbols for wants and needs in this life. Growing up, fasting was also a means for me to learn to be thankful for everything in my life, even the things I occasionally took for granted. Fasting allowed me to experience what it's like to be in the shoes of those who are less fortunate than myself, even if only for a month from dawn to sunset. Due to intermittent fasting diets and increased public awareness of those who fast annually, the practice of fasting has become increasingly popular recently. Number 5. Seeking Truth Particularly seeking truth through preconceptions. There is a growing examination of the systems and structures that make up our civilization. In political, journalistic, and advocacy discourse, the term systematic is commonly employed to highlight issues with our broad social roots. The terms systematic racism and structural racism have become much more prevalent in recent years, indicating a focus on the fundamental elements of American culture that have detrimental and unsustainable effects on minorities. One can distinguish between an emphasis on personal responsibility and acts, and one that places structure and process at the core of societal dysfunctions. The topic serves as an excellent example of the idea that structural and systematic variables 
have a significant impact on the opportunities and circumstances that individuals of society face. The thesis posits that social systems and structures are interconnected with racism, inequality, unequal life opportunities, significant economic and financial disparities that are frequently linked to demographic status, and numerous other societal dysfunctions. Number four, teaching opportunities. Over the last few years, a strong education system has become increasingly important to the economies of many developing worlds, particularly those in the Arab world. The numerous initiatives aimed at enhancing the quality and quantity of education in the Arab world have demonstrated the importance of education reform, particularly in light of the region's growing young population, which now makes up the majority in many of the region's countries. Many Arab nations have been working in recent years to create and carry out comprehensive education reform programs that may produce a workforce that is knowledgeable and trained and aligned with socio-economic objectives. Jobs as as an international teacher in the Middle East are becoming more accessible as a result. Number three, the Qatar World Cup. There was definitely a demonstration of sheer perseverance and sportsmanship at the historic FIFA World Cup Qatar 2022 final between Argentina and France. However, spirituality and culture were also on exhibit during the event's culmination. Wearing a black robe known as a bisht, which is popular in Arab culture, Lionel Messi hoisted the trophy, and he then gave God the credit for his win in a media interview. I knew this gift would come to me, stated Messi, who is a devout Catholic. I give thanks to God for everything I have. For the first time, a Muslim and an Arab nation has hosted the month-long competition, and diversity of faith, beliefs, and culture has shown itself in many forms. Number two, food. Over the course of the last 30 years, Middle Eastern cuisine has gained popularity for a number of reasons, including the presence of US military stationed in the area and the Saudi-led coalition that drove Saddam Hussein out of Kuwait in the 1990s. After tasting meals, the American soldiers came home wanting more. In early 2020, the spread of a certain bad thing was another cause. According to Ziad, Americans looked to Middle Eastern cuisine for more interesting culinary possibilities during that nearly three-year lock-in. Ziad's website, Ziad features a comprehensive recipe list featuring Arab and Middle Eastern cuisine. The growing acceptance of healthy dieting is a significant additional influence. According to Ziad, the Mediterranean diet is among the most popular, with its foundation being common Middle Eastern dishes and components including lentils, hummus, olive oil, and legumes. Eating Middle Eastern food may encourage people to learn more about Islam, since food is one of the greatest methods to win people over. And finally, number one, immigration. Islam in America is intricately interwoven with the experience of immigration. The majority of adult Muslims in the United States, 58%, are foreign-born, with a significant portion of their immigration to the US coming from countries outside of Europe thanks to the 1965 Immigration and Nationality Act. However, a sizable portion of Americans, 42%, are Muslims who were born in the United States. It is made up of converts to Islam, many of whom are black, descendants of converts and descendants of Muslim immigrants, and descendants of Muslim immigrants. Significant parallels were found between Muslims who were born abroad and those who were born in the United States when the Pew Research Center polled American Muslim adults in 2017. For instance, there is a similar amount of religious practice among Muslims who are born in the United States and immigrants. However, However, there are also significant distinctions. Compared to Muslims who were born in the United States, immigrants typically have a stronger socioeconomic base and more positive views about their position in the country. That's our list. I was your host Yusuf. Give us a follow if you want to keep exploring the world with us, and we hope you have a fantastic day. Peace out.